Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I am Laura Krigger, the Editor-in-Chief of Vetify, and I am delighted to be sitting down with Simeon Hyman, who is the Global Investment Strategist and the Head of Investment Strategy Group for ProShares, the issuer behind the first Bitcoin futures ETF, Bitto. So, Simeon, it's hard to believe it's been a year since Bitto first launched, but it has. So, after now a full year of trading, what is your biggest takeaway? Well, it, the time has flown by, but I think the biggest takeaway is we fulfilled a need in the marketplace, a solution that wasn't there. And, and the evidence is pretty clear. Bitto is the largest cryptocurrency ETF in the world. Uh, the volumes are robust and the trading spreads are tight. So it was absolutely a solution that we delivered that wasn't there before. Now, before Bitto launched, a lot of critics were arguing that the Bitcoin futures market wasn't really ready for an ETF. So how has the Bitcoin futures market proven itself over the past year? Well, that's certainly one of the important ingredients here, you know, as opposed to the spot market that one might say is almost regressed. I mean, we still have hacks. We have questions around the segregation of assets and even a bankruptcy at cryptocurrency brokerages. But meanwhile, the futures market has matured quite nicely. So those roll costs have come down 70 or 80 percent, and that's allowed Bitto to track spot Bitcoin very, very closely. That's the thing that people were skeptical of, and, uh, you know, Bitto's performance has proven them mistaken. Oh, are there any persistent misconceptions that advisors have about Bitcoin futures that you'd like to clear up? So I, the point that I'd like to make is, is back to this roll cost. The roll costs don't have to be zero for Bitto to track spot Bitcoin very closely because Bitto earns interest on the cash that it holds that offsets those roll costs. And it's funny, as opposed to the skeptic's point of view, the notion that the roll cost should be offset by the interest earned on the cash is exactly what the textbooks posit for financial futures contracts. There's no holding cost here. There's no storage. Oil doesn't have to be on tankers. So uh, if anything, this is in line what kind of the academics would have predicted. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, what's your outlook for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies? You know, I think none of us have a crystal ball. Uh, you know, what we know is that DeFi writ large has a lot of applications and a lot of them come back to the utility of cryptocurrency. So I think that demand's not going away. And what we do know, uh, you know, with regards to Bitto itself is that that combination of close tracking the spot Bitcoin and the robust trading and tight uh, and, and tight spreads uh, make it a very effective vehicle, regardless of the time horizon of your point of view. Makes a lot of sense. Well, Fortunately, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you to my guest, Simeon Hyman, for joining me today. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time.